Today we'll have a look at the poem Return by Eunice D. Souza. This poem is a poem of nostalgia. There is a feeling that the speakers wanted to go back to the past. This poem consists of five parts. Structured within the frame of five divisions, this is a poem about nostalgia and recovery. It is concerned not only with the memory of the speaker's individual experience, but is designed as a revisitation that draws out issues of cultural identity and difference. Let us have a look at the first verse or the first stanza. The old wrought iron gate has gone with the tall tangled grass and the mosquitoes. The priest is chanting his blessings on the stone of the new building. Squirrels chase each other up and down the two mango trees left standing. My neighbors want to know, did I enjoy? Thinking of the old wrought iron gate and the cotton tree that manage only one flower every summer. I agree, perhaps. Enjoyment should have no object. The first stanza contains a picture of the old wrought iron gate. This old wrought iron gate has been there for many years. Beyond this old wrought iron gate, there are tall tangle grass. Naturally, the unkept grass, the weeds, and forested area creates a breeding ground for mosquitoes. But the speaker prefers this wild, unkept area rather than the new building where the priest is chanting his blessings. The speaker notices two squirrels that are chasing each other other up and down the two mango trees left standing. Of the many trees that had existed, there are only two mango trees left standing in this place. The squirrels have to manage living and playing and surviving in these two remaining mango trees. The neighbors of the speaker want to know, did she enjoy the ceremony where the priest is chanting his blessings on the new temple? But she is thinking of the past. 